When we reviewed last year's 10.5 inch iPad Pro, we called it the king of tablets. The Verge even called it overkill. Apple's new 2018 iPad Pro is so much better in so many ways that I can't even begin to think of what to call it. The question that a lot of you guys are having is if it's worth upgrading to the new iPad Pro. So let's answer that question. For starters, the new 11 inch base iPad Pro is priced at $799. And if you're planning on using the Apple Pencil, you have to buy the new second generation Apple Pencil for $129 for a grand total of $928. But even with that price, it's easily got the power and features to make it worth that much. This is the iPhone X story all over again. The new iPad Pro is basically an iPad revolution. It's packing Face ID that works no matter how you hold it, a brand new design on the exterior, a brand new edge-to-edge -edge display, the first USB-C port in any iOS device ever, support for a brand new Apple Pencil, and performance that shocked the world. Last year's iPad Pro's performance also shocked us by outperforming Apple's 12-inch MacBook in both processor performance and graphics performance. And the new iPad Pro is supposed to double the graphics performance and almost double the processor performance of last year's iPad Pro. That's just insane. Geekbench 4 benchmarks have already leaked, showing the new iPad Pro's processor nearing the performance of Apple's new 15-inch MacBook Pro, and it's even closer to the performance of the best processor in the 2017 5K iMac. The new iPad Pro actually outperforms the best processor in the 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro, and even the best processor in the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. Of course, this is just Geekbench 4, which doesn't factor in thermal throttling, but the raw power is incredibly impressive. The 12.9-inch model is identical in terms of performance, and I'll give my thoughts on if you should upgrade to that model in just a minute. So let's say you already have a 2017 iPad Pro. Should you upgrade? Well, if money isn't an issue, then definitely upgrade. Face ID and the new display alone should make it worth it, and you could probably sell your current iPad Pro for at least $400. But if you're happy with your current iPad Pro and you don't have money falling out of your ears, just stick with the 2017 model for another year. Now if you've got an older iPad Pro, then I would definitely recommend upgrading. The biggest things those models lack is a very bright and color accurate display, Apple Pencil lag improvements, and 120Hz ProMotion technology which really makes the new iPad Pro shine. Now, if you've got any other kind of iPad, you should think about if you really need the performance in the Apple Pencil support. The 2017 budget iPad for $329 supports the Apple Pencil and has a decent A10 processor, but the display is definitely lacking. Apple has just released a brand new Apple Pencil and next year's budget iPad will probably support it, which means it'll also come with a new boxy design to incorporate it. So if you don't need the extra power and amazing display, you could just wait until March. Now some of you may be thinking, I'll just skip out on this year's iPad Pro and buy the 2019 iPad Pro. Well here's something to think about. Apple basically went all out on the new iPad Pro and there's a lot of firsts for the 2018 iPad Pro. It's the first iPad to switch to this boxy design since the original iPad. The first with an edge-to-edge -edge rounded display. The first with Face ID. The first with a USB-C port. The first with support for the new Apple Pencil. The first with a 7 nanometer chip that outperforms a MacBook Pro. And it's also thinner than any iPad or even iPhone ever, if you're not counting the camera bump. Speaking of the camera, it gets the same wide camera as the iPhone XS, with the latest video recording improvements and features like Smart HDR and portrait mode selfies. So based on that, next year's iPad Pro most likely isn't going to be much different, since it'll be running on the same 7 nanometer architecture, the performance won't see as big of a jump. And I doubt Apple will switch to an even smaller chip architecture for at least a couple of years. There may be some changes here and there, but it'll generally be very similar to the 2018 iPad Pro. So if you're thinking of upgrading to an iPad Pro within the next two years, I would honestly just upgrade right now. And that's the same advice that we gave when the revolutionary iPhone X came out. And as you can tell by the iPhone XS, there really isn't much different apart from the larger iPhone XS Max. So here's the rundown. If you've got a 2017 iPad Pro and you're perfectly happy with it, don't upgrade unless you've got a bunch of extra cash. If you've got anything else and you're thinking about getting an iPad Pro within the next couple of years, seriously just upgrade right now, because the 2019 iPad Pro won't be that much different, and it definitely won't get any cheaper. We've got links to our Apple price guide in the description below so you can find the best deal on the new iPad Pro or any other Apple product. As for the 12.9 inch model, it's $200 more expensive, but the chassis is now significantly smaller than the previous 12.9 inch iPad Pros, 
making it a lot more convenient to use. Now, if you're trying to use your iPad Pro as a laptop replacement, the 12.9 inch model will definitely be the better choice if you have the extra cash. And if you're an artist, you'll enjoy the extra screen space that the large model offers. So thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our 2017 versus 2018 iPad Pro comparison video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.